Don't you hate when you're about to go somewhere and this happens? Guess what we're doing today? See you in a second. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to NMI GT Entertainment, and I am Joel. Nice to see you on this ooh, cold Saturday morning, and uh, guess what? We are about to do our first oil change on My Little Pony, um, since we've had her anyway. Um, as you can see at the beginning of the video, I was about to go out, and the, uh, hey, stupid light came on, and you need to change your oil. So we're going to go ahead and do that today just to make a video and to just get my little pony back on the channel because she hasn't been on there in a minute and as you can see she's still around but i'm going to go through the steps of where to jack up the car um how i use my ramps because i can't drive up on the ramps or you could do other ways but i'm going to show you what i do and uh we're going to get the oil change at this car today so uh stick around and we'll see you in a minute and just as a side note i'm going to go ahead and try to do what is called director's cut on my phone it's a new option on the s um 21 ultras so that way i can have a little window and show you what i'm doing so i'm going to try to use that utilize that a little bit today so let me know what y'all think about that um it's going to be a little different so we'll see where we go see you in a sec all right everyone so the first thing we're going to do is get the car jacked up um we need to get it off the ground so you can get under it it seems like a lot of these videos I've done lately I've been under this car or a car so we're gonna go ahead and do that I'll show you where I lift it up um, it does have mounts to put uh, the jack stands in but we're not gonna be using those because I'm gonna be using my ramps um, the car sits too low it'll just push the ramps out I could put a board in front of it and then kind of guide it up on that way but I'd rather just lift the car up and put the ramps under it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that being done see you in a sec all right everyone so right now we are going to go ahead and get the car jacked up under here it's hard to get it under here but there is a metal spot under the plastic it's off to the end what you want to do is get your jack cup to hit that in the center um like i said once i get the car up a little bit i'll show you what i'm talking about and get this ramp under there so We'll see you in one second. All right, everyone, as you can see, you have that metal strip that goes across the center right there. And that's what you want the jack to be on. And then if you're using jack stands, you see there, you see these little arrows? That's where you would put your jacks. There's one here and there's one in the rear back there. So. And then as you can see, I went ahead and slid the jack, uh, the um, ramp under it. I'm gonna line that up and then lower it on there and that should be good to go. All right, everyone. Now you see that I got them on the stands and what you wanna also do, just for safety, is put a board on the back of your tire just to make sure it doesn't accidentally roll out. It shouldn't, this is an automatic and shouldn't have the problem, but weirder things have happened. So, I would definitely do that just for safety aspect. As you can see, that is on there now. And then coming over to this side, I got that one on there. So the car is secured on there. And what I do, I leave the jack under the car, jacked up just a little bit to have it held up. So just in case something happens, you know, tire might go down while you're under the car. You know, you're gonna lose that little bit of spot. At least this picks it up. And won't do it or if you have a set of spare um, rims or tires older ones that you can shove under there so that way they would catch the fall and you wouldn't get crushed so just a little safety aspect just the no would help you out 
So uh, we'll catch you in a sec. All right, the oil that I'm using today is Mobile One Fully Synthetic. Um, I only use synthetic and it's 5W20. And if you need to know what your Mustang takes, it tells you on the oil cap right there. And it's kind of funny because the six cylinders, the oil caps over here on them. Uh, coyotes, they're on the other side. So I'm gonna probably mess that up sometime today too. But um, yeah, and this is what I'm using for the filter for it. Uh, you could use the Motocraft stuff, that's fine. Um, they just had a special on this and I usually use Mobile One, so we are good to go. On the, um, hold on real quick. All right, on the manual for this car, it takes six quarts. So that's what we got. We have five in the big one, one in the small one, and then the filter. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get under the car and um, get that started. Time for the dirty work to begin. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I have my uh, can to catch oil and uh, I have my wrench there. It is a 15 millimeter wrench that is gonna go for this car. Um, like I said, my, I think that's what all the rest of my Mustangs are also. So it's staying with that. Um, the oil pan on this one is a little different. It shoots from the side versus the center. So um, yeah, that's a little different for this car also. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get under there and get dirty. But this is pretty much all you're gonna need to go under the car right now is this and that and a couple little uh, paper towels because you're probably gonna make a little bit of a mess. So we'll see you under there. All right guys, how you doing from under the car? So right over here on the V6 is the drain plug. So you gotta go ahead and loosen that and then make sure that you have this lined up to catch your oil substance here or any fluids that you're gonna drain. You wanna make sure that you have the air um, cap off because if you try to fill it in, it's just gonna fill up because there's nothing for displacement on it. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get this loosened up and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And remember guys, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And there it is. There she blows, we got black gold. All right, everyone, as you can see, I'm just letting it drip dry now. Uh, just making sure I'm getting all the stuff in there out. And uh, we'll go ahead and um, tighten that up in a minute and get into the filter area. Um, with the Mustangs, there's this little um, cover that you have to take down to get to the filter. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and do that here in a sec. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, everybody. As you can see, I got the cover down now and moved the oil tray up front. Um, we have this cover right here. I don't know if you can see it well. It sits up here and it sits on the belly pan. So what it does is just covers everything for aerodynamics and make sure nothing goes into it. So that needed to come down to get to the oil filter that is up there. I'm gonna show you the oil filter from the top. I swear, Ford engineers just don't think things through. But, um, and just to let you know, these are eight millimeter bolts, there's three of them. So you just take those and the thing drops down. Show you in a second, hold on. All right, everyone. As you can see right there under that belt, there is where the oil filter is in a six cylinder. It goes straight out and hits everything. So once you take that off, you're guaranteed to get sloppy. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and pray for the best, but you know, it is what it is, and as you can see down there, I got the pan ready, so we'll go from there. All right, everyone, as you can see, I got the new filter in there now. I'm ready to start putting the oil in. I just gotta put up the belly pan real fast and uh, get that done, and then we'll be good to go. So let me go ahead and get that belly pan up real fast, and uh, we'll continue All on. Right, just to give y'all an under view, there is the filter right there. And as you can see, it comes straight out, so you can just imagine. So, uh, and it sits under this pan right here. I'm gonna wipe that off and then put this back up. So, we'll see you in one second. All right, everyone, I kinda jumped ahead of you, but uh, 
I went ahead and put oil in the car already. So it goes in through here with the funnel. It takes six gallons. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car in here in a second and uh, make sure that everything checks out. There's a dipstick for the car. So we're gonna go ahead and um, make sure our levels are fine. So uh, we'll be there in one second. All right, hey guys, I have a question for you. Does anybody know what this is? I found this in the belly pan. It just seems like a cover to something, but I don't know exactly what it is. And I tried to look it up by the numbers and um, no avail to what it is. So you can tell it goes around something though. Um, if y'all ever had to remove this part or found this laying around in your car, Hit me up and let me know what it is. I'll take a, sl a still of it and post it up in the corner. So yeah, find new keepers, I guess. All right, everyone, it is now running. Just letting it get up the temperature. Nothing seems to be leaking. It's nice and quiet. So let me show you something inside the car, just in case you don't know how to do it. All right, everyone, when you start your car after you change your oil, this is still gonna pop up until you clear it out. I just wanted to show you how to clear it out. So you actually go into, let me get this better here. Come over to the menu, go down to settings, hit information, have one warning light, system check, and that's what it's telling you. You go down to Sorry, wrong spot in the settings. Go over to vehicle, go down to reset oil life, and then you hold it down and reset it to 100%. Boop, and now you're set back up to 100%. So you're good to go now. All right, guys. So once you let it run for a little bit, you come down to the dipstick, you pull it out, you wipe it off, and then you put it back in. Then you pop it back out again. And then you take a look at it. We are exactly where we need to be with our lines. So we are good to go. So yeah, this is the oil change for My Little Pony. She wasn't a pain in the ass, but uh, like I said, Ford still needs to figure out, hopefully they've gotten better with the newer cars. And uh, we'll see you in a second. All right, everyone, that is the video for today. As you can see, My Little Pony is right there. She is all oil changed up and ready to go. So maybe the next video I do about her is we're gonna clean her up a little bit. I want her to look like Electra right there, all nice and sparkly. So maybe we'll go ahead and bring her in and uh, do the uh, whole cleaning of the car video hmm maybe maybe not we'll see how it goes but thanks for hanging in there with us like i said i know it's an oil change video but hey it needed to be done and i needed something to do and you know my little pony hadn't been on there in a little bit so it was nice to have her back on there so she is fresh and ready to go and um we have an inspection soon with her i believe yep next month so got to make sure she's all nice and shiny for her doctor visit all right, guys, we'll catch you on the video, next video, and uh, I hope y'all have a great week. Peace.